Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about PDL or potential damage output. So what is potential damage output? Potential damage output is the sum amount of potential damage output that a ship is capable of dispensing within its combat lifespan. So this includes or this takes into account the ship's survival ability. So things like meaningful acceleration, rotation speed, and meaningful protection are taken into account in PDO because the longer your ship survive, the more damage that it can dispense. And of course, there are a number of turrets, different types of turrets, and turrets lines of sight. But fortunately, you don't have to calculate all of this. So I'm going to explain how you can compare any ship to one another as long as you have a baseline variable in your test because the PDO is relative to the baseline variables of your test. And one way to do this test is by, for example, you go into creative and you copy paste a ship that you want to test and then you create a platform of turrets. Let's say it has 100 turrets. You fight that platform of turrets with the ship and you would fight this platform of turrets how you would fight in a real fight. So it takes into account everything like maneuverability, acceleration, meaningful protection, and all that stuff are taken into account. Now, let's say your baseline variable depends on how many turrets you destroyed. So let's say you were able to destroy 75 turrets in 60 seconds. Therefore, based on this methodology of testing, you will have a PDO of 75 and you divide that by your PCU and divide that by the time it requires to destroy those 75 turrets and that way you will get your combat efficiency factor. Now let's say you copy paste a second ship and you do the same test but with that different ship and let's say it was able to destroy 83 turrets in 30 seconds and the PCU is maybe twice as much as the preview ship. And from this, you can calculate the efficiency and compare the efficiency of both ships. But let's say you created a ship that is so strong that it's able to destroy all 100 turrets within 30 seconds. Uh, how do you calculate that? Because the ship wouldn't have dispensed its potential damage output at that point. Well, of course you can do some crazy calculations with how many turrets are left in your ship and how much time it requires and then you calculate based on that but that can be convoluted. So my suggestion when this happens is that you create a different kind of test which includes a lot more turrets and that would be a lot simpler. But of course, rationally, it will still be the same, as long as your calculations are accurate. In determinate video, this is when you cannot possibly quantify the potential damage output. So for example, uh, charger ships or missile carrier ships or carrier ships in general, it's impossible to determine their damage output because it depends on a lot of unquantifiable factors. But even as an indeterminable, the formula would still work in determining a ship's combat efficiency. But you can only compare this efficiency with the ship itself, like in different variants of the ship, or with something that you absolutely know what the damage output is. So for example, your ship has unknown video, but you cut the PCU in half, and then you cut the time it requires to destroy the same amount of things in half. Then you can therefore quantify that the ship is now four times more efficient multiplicatively. And keep in mind the purpose of understanding this formula so is that so you can build your ship more efficiently in an intuitive way or in a more accurate, measured way. But no matter which methodology you use, the formula would still be valid. And finally, and this is barely a calculation, this is useful for a quick 
measurement in combat. So let's say you fight someone in a server and they say their ship has 20,000 PCU and you arrive at the location and you see that they have maybe 20 turrets and you can kind of see the layout of the ship and how many thrusters it has and then you can compare that to your own ship and from this you can kind of gauge how efficient that enemy ship is in real time it won't be accurate at all compared to the previous two tests but this way of thinking is useful for when you are gonna fight an enemy because at the very least it would make you a lot more readier because you know a lot more of the things that are taken into account in a fight in terms of how strong your enemy ship is compared to yours this is partly why i'm able to be so calm in fights no matter what kind of ships i'm fighting because when i evaluate the enemy ship in real time i'm able to gauge how much that ship is possibly or potentially more or less efficient in combat compared to my ship all right so those are the calculations i know it's a bit convoluted but i tried to make it as simple as possible uh, i hope it's useful and that's how you calculate your ship's combat efficiency and the video in particular